What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll be going over a task two speaking question, which can be found at zabentofel.com under TPO number three. All right, that's the reading passage. It's the announcement. Let's look at it together and find the beginning sentence. Beginning next month, dining services will no longer serve hot breakfast foods at university dining halls. Okay, so the beginning sentence is, according to the announcement, the school is planning to no longer serve hot breakfast foods at university dining halls. Now let's look for the advantage of this new policy. Instead, students will be offered a wide assortment of, okay, these cold breakfast foods, okay. Students will benefit in another way as well because limiting the breakfast, uh, save money and allow us to keep our meal plans affordable. Okay, so the advantage is either save money or keep the meal plans affordable. I'm gonna choose the second upside. You don't have to mention both. Keep in mind that the ending sentence is probably going to be said when you only have about 15 seconds left. So don't make this part of your response become too extensive. We're done with the reading passage. Let's listen to the conversation together. Do you believe any of this? It's ridiculous. What do you mean? Well, it is important to eat healthy foods. Sure it is. But they're saying yogurt's better for you than an omelet or than hot cereal. I mean, whether something's hot or cold, that shouldn't be the issue. Except maybe on a really cold morning. In that case, which is going to be better for you? A bowl of cold cereal or a nice warm omelet? It's obvious. There's no question. No, I'm not going to argue with you there. And this whole thing about saving money. What about it? Well, they're actually going to make things worse for us, not better. Because if they start cutting back and we can't get what we want right here on campus, well, we're going to be going off campus and pay off campus prices. And you know what? That'll be expensive. Even if it's only two or three mornings a week, it can add up. The woman expresses her opinion of the change that has been announced. State her opinion and explain her reasons for holding that opinion. All right, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but my dog is moving around, so you might hear some footsteps, and that is definitely a source of distraction, but I'm not gonna cut this out because at the real test, when you're taking the exam in a computer lab with many people, even more than a dozen people, you're gonna have distractions that you need to cope with and overcome, all right? Anyways, the woman was the main character and she does not like the school's new plan. And the first reason she said that Cold foods, or just foods like yogurt, are not better for people than hot foods. Plus, on a cold morning, it would be much better to have a warm omelet without question. Or, plus, on a cold morning, a warm omelet would be much better to eat without question. Now, the second reason the woman said that, the university is actually making things worse for students because if students can't get what they want on campus, they will go off campus and end up buying more expensive food. Now over here, the free sentence is gonna be, as a result, the woman thinks that this new policy is not a good idea. All right, let's see how I put this together in my sample response. According to the announcement, the university is planning to no longer serve hot breakfast foods at university dining halls. However, the woman is not looking forward to this. First and foremost, the woman mentioned that foods like yogurt are not better for people than hot foods. Besides, on a cold morning, a warm omelet would be much better to have than a cold bowl of cereal without any question. On top of this, the woman also said that this new policy will actually make things much worse for students because if people cannot get what they want on campus, they will have to go off campus and buy more expensive food. In other words, the woman thinks that this decision is not such a good idea. Even though the school believes that this policy will help keep the meal plans affordable, the woman opposes the university's new plan for these two reasons mentioned in the conversation. Thank you very much for your time and consideration. All right, and still two one second left. Now, when you're done saying the second reason, that's the only time you're actually gonna look at the clock and see how many seconds you have left. In other words, please do not even think about the fact that you're being timed when you're saying the beginning sentence, the woman's opinion, the first and second reasons, all right? Don't let the fact that some amount of time is ticking down distract and disturb your concentration. Please don't let that happen because 
That's just there to help people have a sense of urgency, all right? Now, if you practice enough and know exactly what to say while making your sentences, your information concise, trust me when I say this, 60 seconds is always going to be more than enough time, all right? If you don't accept that, you'll always be pushing yourself to kind of push the envelope too much and overextend yourself. So number one is just forget about the 60 seconds or 45 seconds of speaking time and first check how many seconds you need to get everything off of your chest to say everything that you want to say. It's probably going to take more than a minute, but it's not because of your speaking speed, okay? Speaking steadily and fluently is much more efficient. I'm going to say efficient, not faster, because it's not faster. You're actually speaking more steadily, but more properly, so you don't have to keep rewinding your speech to correct yourself, okay? So, a really bad thought process to develop is thinking that 60 seconds is not enough time no matter how fast I speak. That's wrong. It's not enough time if you speak too fast, stutter, keep having to correct your mistakes, and try to say too much, okay? Keep that in mind, please. All right, that was a sample response for today's question. If you guys enjoyed what you heard, experienced, and saw, leave a like, share the content, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, if you are a self-disciplined and dedicated person, reach out to me about my tutoring services. Let's get the score that you need and deserve in 2020 as soon as things get back to normal. Peace!